Hello and welcome back. Did you know that the human eye cannot focus on blue light? This is due to the chromatic aberration which is caused by the fact that each color of light has a different focal point. Here's a chart of spectral sensitivity of the human eye by wavelength from Wikipedia. And as you can see, sensitivity and focal points for the red and green receptors are very close to one another. With such strong chromatic aberration, how is it in God's name possible that the eye can focus on anything? Well, actually the eye doesn't. While no single color is fully in focus, the eye's focal plane is positioned for the colors where it is most sensitive. And that is between the red and the green focal points. This is exactly what is happening in the eye. Our brain extracts some color information from the blue channel, but delegates sharpness to the red and green channels which are in focus. Let me demonstrate this with the following image. After I duplicate this image layer, I'm going to split it into separate RGB channels, for which I have a nice macro. If you're interested on how to do this manually, I will leave a link in the description for a video where I explain this. Here comes the interesting part. If I add a Gaussian filter to the blue channel and set it around 2 to 3 pixels, the image is surprisingly sharp. Now watch this. If I move the Gaussian filter to the green channel, the image is actually blurred. Just amazing. The same happens when I move it to the red channel. It is not so strong as the green, but definitely more than the blue. Let me move it back to the blue channel and zoom in so we can see the difference better. Interesting, isn't it? So how can we use this to our advantage? How about if we sharpen the green only? As we just noticed, this color channel determines most of the sharpness. After removing the Gaussian blur, I will add a high pass filter to the green channel and give it a value around 30. Let's also set it to monochrome and the blend mode to overlay. You notice the image is indeed sharpened. Let's compare it with a regular sharpening. I will first make a duplicate of the original image and move this to the top, so we can use this later for comparing. Next, I will copy the high pass filter and paste it into the original below. Let's compare. The green sharpening definitely sharpened the image, but also kept things smooth and the sharpening is not so harsh as the old channel sharpening. But there is a little bit of green glow. Let's fix that by making a copy of the original layer and moving it below the RGB group. If I now change the blend mode of the RGB layer to luminance, we lose the green shine but keep the sharpening. Let me group them for better administration. If we compare again with an all channel sharpening, the green channel sharpening is much more gentle and the image in general keeps its smooth surface. Pretty cool. This was definitely an interesting session. In the next part of this series, I will explore more in detail what else we can do with this knowledge. Here is a quick preview of what I will be sharing in the next part of this series. Until the next episode, and thanks again for watching.